One of the busiest places at the airport during a snowfall is the central de-icing facility. The Globe Ground North America crews can often de-ice as many as 500 aircraft in one day, which should come as no surprise. The central de-icing facility at Lester B. Pearson International Airport is the largest and most technically advanced centralized de-icing facility in the world. No one likes flight delays, so the challenge is to get each aircraft through the de-icing procedure as quickly as possible, while continuing to maintain the central de-icing facility's extremely high safety and performance standards. There's a lot on the line. Even small amounts of snow or ice on critical flight surfaces will significantly degrade the lifting and control properties of an aircraft during takeoff. The central de-icing facility, or CDF, is owned by the Greater Toronto Airports Authority and operated by Globe Ground North America. The automated aircraft guidance system was developed, installed, and implemented by the Giffels Nor Group. The CDF is ideally located to provide quick access to runways and allows aircraft to depart as soon as possible after the completion of the de-icing procedure. The CDF has six de-icing pads, numbered one through six. Each pad is divided into a staging bay and a de-icing bay. Each pad also consists of three aircraft lanes, north, south, and center. This configuration provides maximum flexibility for aircraft throughput. For example, either six Boeing 747s can be de-iced simultaneously using just the center lanes, or ten Airbus A320s and two Dash 8s can be de-iced simultaneously using the south and north lanes. Within the control cab of the CDF, the coordination and control of the flight operations is orchestrated by several key positions. The operations manager, the operations clerk, the bay manager, pad control, north ice man and south ice man, and the north zone de-icing coordinator and south zone de-icing coordinator. The operations manager oversees the entire operation. The operations manager's workstation is equipped with a computer which provides real-time weather radar information via the internet. One of the tools that we use is our weather radar. When we're looking at the weather radar, we're looking at a green would be a rain, red or pinkish could be a frozen contamination mixed in, uh, like a freezing rain, and then basically the bluer, as it intensifies to dark blue, is uh, heavier snow. Each aircraft departing the terminals for de-icing is identified by ground control and shows up on the bay manager's allocation screen as an electronic flight strip showing the aircraft's flight number and aircraft type. The bay manager can track the progress of the aircraft en route to the CDF using his or her airport surface detection equipment screen, or ASTI. The role of the bay manager is to allocate each aircraft to an available bay. The bay manager has access to the airport operations database, which can display aircraft departures ranging from the next 30 minutes and up to the next 24 hours. By clicking on the appropriate flight, the bay manager assigns that aircraft to a bay. His decision is based on a number of factors, including bay availability, the aircraft's size, and the aircraft's departure runway. Once assigned, the electronic flight strip identifying the aircraft appears on the pad control screen. The role of pad control is to coordinate the entry and departure of aircraft from the pad area. As the aircraft approaches the CDF entry point, pad control will speak to the pilot and inform him which de-icing bay to proceed to. O2 entering the bay, contact ice man on 2962. 2962, right. From that point onward, either North Iceman or South Iceman will control that aircraft. South Iceman controls the south pads, one through three. And North Iceman controls the north pads, four through six. 8602, for uh, four south. B602, good afternoon. Monitor the signboards for stop guidance. And in position, report brakes and aircraft configured. 
The electronic signboards guide the pilot to the correct bay and lead him to a precise stopping position. The Iceman can display the pad view window, which monitors the real-time status of each individual bay, as well as the signboards. As the aircraft progresses through the bay, its positioning is continuously monitored and displayed on the pad map using metal detecting ground loops embedded in the bay surface. This screen shows the actual location of the ground loops on the pad. As the aircraft passes over each ground loop, the icon turns from green to red. Once the aircraft arrives at the predefined stop position in the de-icing pad, the pilot will confirm to Iceman that the aircraft has brakes set and is configured for de-icing. Brakes set, configured for de-ice for 8602. 8602, roger, hold position, de-icing starts now. Roger. Beside each Iceman is a zone de-icing coordinator who coordinates the de-icing activities utilizing the spray operators and other support vehicles involved in the de-icing procedure. Each bay normally consists of four de-icing vehicles. This number allows for maximum throughput efficiency. The CDF's fleet of de-icing vehicles consists of the most advanced in the world. They are controlled by a single operator in an elevated cabin located at the base of the telescopic spray boom. Single man operation reduces manpower costs and reduces the amount of radio voice communication required per ground vehicle. While removing the contamination, the operators strive to keep billing as low as possible by not exceeding the amount of fluids necessary to complete the job. Pickup sized trucks called underwing sprayers are used to de-ice the underside of the aircraft, landing gear, nose gear, and the leading edge of the wing. Four CCTV cameras positioned high above each bay provide a full range of visual perspectives during the entire de-icing procedure. These images are displayed on overhead and individual desk monitors in the control cab and are recorded for future playback. Each de-icing vehicle carries two types of fluid. Type 1 de-icing fluid is a heated glycol and water mixture that is maintained by heaters inside each vehicle within a range of 65 and 82 degrees Celsius. Type 1 is easily identified by its orange color. The heated de-icing spray breaks the bond between slush, ice, snow or frost and the aircraft surface. The force of the fluid being applied then removes the contamination. Type 4 anti-icing fluid is used to provide protection against ice or snow reforming on clean surfaces prior to departure. Type 4 fluid is a thickened glycol mixture applied at ambient temperature and is identified by its green color. Operating a de-icing vehicle requires skill and experience. All operators receive extensive training at the beginning of each de-icing season and continuous upgrading during the season. This strong commitment to training helps operators keep pace with the constant improvements being made in technology and equipment. Efficiency refinements continue to be made to the overall process in order to reduce throughput time, improve safety performance, and reduce unit cost. Quality control personnel inspect the aircraft to verify the de-icing has been completed as per procedures. Once all vehicles are safely clear of the aircraft, the Iceman tells the pilot that de-icing has been completed and provides information about the type of fluids used and when the holdover time started. 8602, de-icing is complete, de-icing type 1, anti-icing type 4. Holdover time is 2-2, aircraft is clean and safe of equipment. Report when ready to taxi to pad control on 131-175. Contact pad control 3117 for action. Pad control gives verbal instructions to the pilot about exiting the CDF and advises the pilot to follow the instructions shown on the signboards. Pad control 8602 ready for taxi. 8602 when signboard indicates exit now. Taxi straight ahead Victor, hold short of Mike. Taxi Victor, hold short of Mike. 8602. As impressive as the central de-icing facility's achievements are in utilizing the most advanced equipment and safety systems in the world, the CDF has also made huge strides in protecting the environment. 
The central de-icing facility is at the forefront of airport innovation and application of advanced technology.